Hello, AMD released um, a new Catalyst drivers that include the first version of the Mantle support, Catalyst 14.1 version 1.6 driver. Um, just going to do a little comparison video with Battlefield 4 and um, Star Swarm to stress test. Um, the last patch of BF4 this week had the Mantle support in. First thing we'll do is enable the in-game or the built-in game FPS. So hit tilde to get a console up. Type in perf overlay dot draw FPS space one. And you can also enter render dot draw screen info one, which will bring up some system info like so. As you see, it's currently running DirectX 11. Let me says it's an i7 377k at 3.5 gigahertz. It's not. It's overclocked to 4.4. So I'm just going to run around just a little bit like this um, in the, the test range. Then we'll switch to mental and come back. Um, note that if I just check the option, as you see, everything's set to ultra apart from anti aliasing, which I've got disabled. I normally have it disabled. Um, so we're going to run around a little bit and then we'll switch to mental. I just spawn in a tank and I'll go around and shoot a couple of things. Okay, I'm going to switch to mental and relog. To switch to mental, you just need to go to options, video, change the direct the graphics API to mental. One thing I'd I would kind of notice, or what I've read, is once you switch it, you really need to restart your machine just to make sure, because other people have kind of said that um, FPS is lower until they did that. So I'm going to save settings, reboot the machine, and we'll try with mental. One more thing I will do before I actually re reboot i've switched it back to d3d for now i've not restarted yet it's just try the in-game system performance just to see what um average fps it gives let's let's give it a try collecting data please wait 86 yik just run it again just to make sure it is average yeah 86 you know, one thing I have noticed in BF4 is um, bringing up the menu does drop you like 20 FPS. I mean, that task showed 86. Try it a third time and it shows 87. But if you watch, if we back out of the menu, as soon as you get back into game and the menu disappears, we're 90 at the moment. As soon as you get back out to game, boom up to 120. So it's like 25, 30 FPS just having that menu open. Crazy. Okay, now I'm going to switch to mental now and we'll do the same. We're back and as you see from the screenshot, the renderer is now mental. And the authors of programs like DxTory, Fraps, things like that that take video, um, they don't work at the moment because they have, they are based on DirectX and have not up, been updated to use mental. As you see here from the in-game performance test, the average I came out with now is 98. I did free test 98. I got 98, a 95, and a 99. Um, so that's the previous one was about 86. So we're looking at about 10, 11 percent maybe gain. I did a lap in the tank around doing the same little route, and the FPS jump between about 80, 85 during some sequences up to about 130. I think overall. From what I experienced here, I didn't notice any real drop in quality of the game. FPS was definitely showing the 10 to 12% that um, reviews I've seen have actually shown. It's difficult to really tell without video, but you know, you have to take my word for it on that. Being like within 24 hours of it being launched, um, apps have not been updated yet, but moving on. As well as Battlefield 4, um, the Star Swarm 
stress test demo that is available on Steam now actually it also works with Mantle. Um, as you see here, this is the settings I used in, which is just the default. I used the follow scenario, which it says is for most most consistent results, and I had it on extreme. And I ran a six minute demo with DX11 and Mantle. And the results, as you see, um, DX11 turned out an average of 40.09 FPS over the six minute demo, Mantle 58.43 TPS. So you can see there, I mean, it's a significant improvement over your Mantle from 40 to 58, you know, that's, that's kind of crazy. That's, that's almost, that's almost 50%. That's, what is that? that's like about an extra 45, 46% gain in that demo. And that itself is pretty crazy. And you got to, one thing you got to remember is, um, this is the very first public iteration of Mantle of the drivers and um, the first iteration of it into the Battlefield engine. So, you know, on the website for the beta driver, they do actually state, um, let's bring those up, they do state in the patch notes regarding Battlefield that um, Mantle performance for AMD Radeon 7800 series and ready on R9, 280X and 270X GPUs will be optimized for Battlefield 4 in future releases. I have a 7970. Um, so basically this first version of the Mantle driver is only really optimized for the 290 and you know the 290X, the very high, highest video card for them. So I'm sure when they get the optimization in for the lower GCN enabled cards like the 7970 that I have, it's definitely going to look notice noticeably better. Maybe by then, um, DX Tori will be updated um, to actually capture Mantle, or there'll be other way, other applications like Fraps or something that will do it. So you can actually capture some Mantle footage and run them side by side. But this was just a brief little rundown of Mantle and the differences I've seen at the moment. Thanks for listening.